Well, this morning I'm walking down, um, this is Top Road, and I'm walking down to Bottom Road. Now they say that Jamaica isn't safe, but I'm on my own. I've done this trip a couple of days. I'm not saying that I do this by myself. Of course, you have that faith that you're going to be safe. And so, yeah, every morning I say, guide my going out and my coming in and all my footsteps in between. And that's just how I do it. And then I step forward in faith. But, you know, generally, though, you know, you meet a lot of people and you have to be a bit resourceful and you have to kind of have a spirit of discernment what I like to call it that just means even though people look friendly they're not necessarily friendly and the people who you may not be friend think are friendly they definitely are so you can see this these two little boys I don't know what they're picking from the tree I'm a little boy and a little girl so I'm gonna stop talking as I pass them I don't want them to know oh, it's actually two men so I'm gonna stop yeah so actually what they're doing is they're eating guinea they're picking guinea off of the tree and they're eating it they take it straight from the tree they don't need to wash it and straight into their mouths so I was gonna take a taxi down but I thought to myself I don't know how much they charge and me with my English accent they might just charge me double so as you can see, it's quite a beautiful country, look. It's quite nice. And you can see where they're constructing buildings over there. And yeah, it's not very interesting, guys, on the right there. It's quite an exciting experience, actually. So I'm sorry that I haven't been in touch while I've been away. I, well, to be honest, there's no Wi-Fi in the hotel. You have to go down into reception to do Wi-Fi. And even then it's intermittent, so that's no good. And even then there's drilling in the hotel because they're doing construction. So you can't even hear yourself speak. So that's a waste of time. So even though we have a lot of car noises, it's still better out here. And I wanted you to at least take this little trip that I take like in the morning to get my breakfast. Because if I buy it in the restaurant next door or I have it delivered from a hotel, you're paying like double. I mean, local prices have gone up quite tremendously. I mean, if you go downtown Mobay, you can get stewed chicken and rice for $300, which is brilliant. That's a small meal. Or you can spend $500 for a large meal. So that's quite reasonable and so what I do sometimes is I call and I get a large meal but the large meal is so large but it's still better than going to some of the restaurants and then you're paying like 2,000 Jamaican which is about $20 is it about $20? yeah right, roughly speaking it's about $20 which is £10 each, roughly, which isn't bad, but sometimes you think that you're going to get it a lot cheaper, and it's not cheaper. So if you think you're going to come to Jamaica and get a, um, that's a school up there, can you see? Imam Pekerich School. So if you think you're going to come up here, and look down there, there's some houses down there. So if you think you're going to come to Jamaica and get some cheap food, think again. Especially if you come as a tourist, you're paying the same price as you would be paying in England. So yeah, I like this little trip. It's just about 20 minutes one way, 20, minute, 20 minutes back. So I'm not going to take you all the way, but I'll take you to where I get my fry fish. I'm hoping today they've got ackee and salt fish. I've left the old man in bed, if you're wondering where he is. Think he drank too much white rum. I don't know what building that is. It looks like they're building it up anyway. Yeah, they're always building in Jamaica. Honestly, I worked out, you know, they've got some beautiful parts of Jamaica and I'm gonna pop some photographs 
but most of them they're not owned by Jamaicans which is sad really you've got the the Rose Hall I think that's 75,000 acres I'm not quite sure if that was owned by the Netherlands but you've got the Netherlands invested in Jamaica the Chinese of course with the, silk, with the Belt Road initiative and you've got the Mexicans with regard to the airport most of the um, airports well most of the hotels these large beautiful hotels which make Jamaica look beautiful on a superficial westernized basis are owned by um, white Jamaicans or Americans or Bermudans not by Jamaicans some of them if they say they're Jamaican they're still white Jamaicans they're not your black Jamaicans this must have been a hotel which is now closed down um, yeah I think I would like I think I would like if I had my own business in Jamaica I would definitely move here but it, I couldn't be vlogging that wouldn't be enough to stimulate me I'd need to have something like a guest house or a hotel and yeah that puts me in touch with people and I think I would cater for British you know I'd call it I'll call it the British hotel you know what I mean cater strictly for British but you know I wouldn't turn away anybody else but it would be catering for strictly the British palette and the British experience anyway um, I'm nearly at my destination I can't believe it it's been fun talking to you folks and like I said I have missed you you guys and yeah I look forward to getting back and doing some more videos but I thought I would take you on this route with me look at this guy he's cutting the grass can you see him or maybe not yeah just about see him I don't really like videotaping people because you know it's almost like they're mascots or you know they might just feel as though they're some kind of trophy kind of thing and I don't really like that so I try not to I try to be a bit discreet when I'm taking images but I tell you something you get some beautiful images here if I could stop and take images of the real Jamaica where you see people it looks as though they're doing nothing but they're hustling the same way they have wherever they are even though they're sitting outside or sitting on a wall or sitting on their step you know that they have their customers same way so they don't have to have any fancy storefronts and that's another thing all of the locals have been relegated to the back of the storefronts so people can't see them so they have to um kind of come out and get you if they want you anyway I finally reached my destination which is where I get my fish that guy over there he does all right how are you doing all right okay good uh, he does a fish uh, say hello to my video I was just videoing what's your name again uh, Danny Danny okay Danny works here all right then bless yeah i'm just gonna go to my fish place which is here and that's it for now folks and i'll speak to you when i get back to uk i'm praying for a safe trip back bye for now bye